Hello guys and ladies, before we get started, just wanted to make a really quick introduction video to explain what to expect from this particular video as well as the videos to come. Now I have my laptop here as I want to make sure I cover certain points, but what you should expect from this video is just initial information about what to expect from the videos to come. And if you are in a hurry to jump to the building process of the build, then you may want to just go ahead and go to the next video. But in a way, it should be obvious about what I'm going to do in this video. I'm just going to show you my process and explain my process of building the device that's behind me and that device is a solar powered remote control electric lawnmower again that's a solar powered remote control electric lawnmower and I know it's a very very long name but the style of the videos is going to be very similar to my previous how-to guide that was teaching you how to build a solar panel as well as the solar powered system so you can expect a lot of different parts because there's a lot of information that I'm having to explain it's gonna be a lot of different voiceovers as well now, I will be using Google SketchUp this time around. What I did this time is I took a, a lot of hours, it took a lot of hours to actually develop a 3D model of this device behind me. And it's basically drawn to scale as, as the best that I could. So basically, you'll be able to go into Google SketchUp, open up the file that I'll give you, and you'll be able to measure different components and actually get the exact width and the, the height and the thickness that I may have cut that particular piece. So instead of how I did last time with putting the dimensions on the bottom of the video, I'm just going to be using Google SketchUp as a reference for you. So I think that'll be really helpful for you and it'll help me with trying to speed up with uh, getting the videos out a lot quicker. Now, the primary parts will be listed on the website, but uh, since I don't have all the videos made at this particular point as of making this video I don't have all the videos made yet But as I continue to put out more videos more parts I will make sure I update the parts list to make sure the parts that I am using in that particular video Is on the parts list and that parts list will be on the website and that link will always be below the particular video on YouTube and the difficulty level I should say is going to be probably intermediate I wouldn't say a beginner because when we get to the circuit part Part of the process you should or I'm gonna expect you to maybe have a little basic knowledge about how circuits work how to actually hook up different components such as resistors and charge controllers and different things like that I'm gonna ex explain it the best that I can but again the reason I say it's intermediate is because when we get to that point I, I, I have a feeling that we may I may lose a couple of people but again I will try to explain and answer questions as I go along and some of the recommended machines the last thing I, I have to say here is just uh, probably use a drill press or buy a drill press if you can as well as a belt sander and a bandsaw the reason why I suggest those uh, three components is the drill press we're gonna be using or well, we're gonna be drilling a lot of holes and for the belt sander we're gonna be sanding down some of the edges or you may want to I didn't do this but you may want to uh, sand down any rough edges and the band saw we're gonna be cutting a lot of aluminum and I mean a lot of aluminum so using a basic hand saw is, is really gonna be tiring that's the way I did it but uh, if I if I had to do this again I would definitely invest in a, in a band saw because of how much cutting you're gonna to have to do so that's all I have to say for this introduction video I'm sorry I talked so long but again just wanted to give you some basic information about what to expect and I'm sure I'm probably missing a couple of things here but as I remember those and as the videos come along I'll try to mention those in the particular video so in a way it has been fun let's just go ahead and begin building this solar powered remote control electric lawnmower mm -hmm. 